hi everyone welcome to my channel math time in this video i would like to discuss 2018 old question and answers dear students in 2018 poly set both in ap and ts poly set we see some previous papers previous questions so here from real numbers first question is if x is any rational number in the form of p by q where q is in the form of 2 power m into 5 power n where m comma n are negative integers then x will have a decimal expansion which is so here the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is very very important based on that fundamental theorem we have one or two questions in each every policy i would like to read once more if x is any x is any rational number which is in the form of what p by q where q is in the form of 2 power m into 5 power n where m and n are negative non negative integers then x will have decimal expansion which is means rational number has decimal expansion we know it so sometimes some rational numbers are terminating some are non terminating so here we have to see that so given that x is a rational number which is the, which is in the form of p by q where q nothing but denominator is in the form of 2 power m into 5 power n so in rational numbers we observe two types of things whenever denominator q is in the form of 2 power m into 5 power n means denominator has a has a factor either 2 or 5 or both that rational number can be exp i mean can have decimal expansion which is what terminating first option option 1 is correct whenever the denominator is having a factor of 2 power in the form of 2 power m into 5 power n that decimal expansion is terminating whenever which is not a banal other than 2 or other than 5 then they are non terminating and repeating we already discussed in the basic points important points right so therefore the answer is terminating question number 2 if p is any prime number and divides a square then p also divides what we have four options option 1 a plus 1 option 2 a minus 1 option 3 a option 4 none so this question is already given in 2019 dsc again it is repeated now in 2018 dsc also the question is came p is any prime number and when divides a square then p divides a option 3 is right answer whenever p is a prime number and which divides a square then p also divides a p divides a square then p divides a right question number 3 3 power log 243 to the base 3 so it has a two bases this is main base this is what log base log 243 to the base 3 right so we have one formula a power log f of x to the base a this is one of the important formula formulas a power log f of x to the base a this base and this base whenever both are equal the total functions value is f of x therefore here 3 power log 243 to the base 3 whenever this base and this base both are equal its value is 243 right answer question number 4 if 2 into log 4 to the base 10 plus 2 into log 3 to the base 10 minus 2 into log 4 to the base 10 is equal to log x to the base 10 then x equal to how much we have to simplify this and equate it to log x to the base 10 you will get x value solution so here this this 2 goes up and becomes log 4 square to the base 10 plus this 2 goes up log 3 to the 3 square to the base 10 minus this 2 also 
becomes power of the number. How? I will explain. Log 12 square to the base 10 equal to log x to the base 10. So here we know that n into log x to the base a equal to log x power n to the base a. Whenever there is a coefficient for the logarithmic function or log value, the 10 becomes power of x. Therefore, n log x to the base a is log x power n to the base a. Therefore, 2 becomes, uh, 2 becomes the power of 4. 2 becomes uh, here 3 square. 2 becomes 12 square. Therefore, here log 4 square 16 to the base 10 plus log 3 square 9 to the base 10 minus log 12 square 144 to the base 10 equal to log x to the base 10. Now we know that this is log a plus log b log a b log a b 16 into 9 divided by c 144 to the base 10 here apply the formula log x to the base 10 here we applied the formula log a plus log b minus log c is equal to log a b by c we know that log a plus log b is log a b log a b minus log c is log a b by c therefore this is a this is b this is c log a into b by c this implies log 9 into 16 it becomes 144 by 144 to the base 10 equal to log x to the base 10. So up to now I will explain here taking the given equation this 2 becomes the power of 4 this 2 becomes the power of 3 this 2 becomes the power of 12 by this formula n log x to the base a is log x power n to the base a therefore 4 square 16 3 square 9 12 square 144 here this is in the form of log a plus log b minus log c which is log a b by c therefore log of 16 into 9 divided by 144 16 into 9 144 therefore 144 144 goes one times log 1 to the base 10 so now log 1 to the base 10 is equal to log x to the base 10 so here both the sides we are having same base therefore 1 equal to x or x equal to 1 is your answer so here 144 divides 144 one time therefore log 1 to the base of 10 is equal to log x to the base base of 10 both the sides we have logs we have same base tens therefore here 1 here x x equal to 1 is our answer this is root 5 plus root 7 is dash number so root 5 plus root 7 is which number option 1 natural number option 2 rational number option 3 integer option 4 and irrational number right let us see one by one what is natural number the numbers from 1 2 3 so on infinity are natural numbers but the given number is root 5 plus root 7 therefore natural number is fails what about uh, rational number rational number means any number which is in the form of p by q but here there is no q so this is what not rational number what is integers? Integers are from minus infinity to infinity including what? Zeros. So therefore integer is also failing. Therefore it is what? An irrational number. So irrational number is defined as it cannot be. Irrational number cannot be expressed as P by Q. So this is not in the form of P by Q. Therefore this is what? An irrational number. Option 4 is our answer root 5 root 3 root 7 all are irrational numbers when we add irrational numbers you will get an irrational number again in number 7 we have to find the value of log of root of 3 into root of 3 into root 3 into log 0 0.01 to the base 10 equal to how much you have four options 
right? So you, I think you already know that uh, all the options are wrong because uh, nothing, you know, no answer is suitable to the given question. So when uh, when you want to solve these type of questions, you have to see, you have to observe the given question. So here, comparing with this, it is a little more complex and it takes time. Therefore, first try to solve this part. This part is log of 0 0.01 to the base 10 value we have to find. Let us see here. 0 0.01 can be written as 1 by 100. 0 0.01 can be written as 1 by 100. And 100 can be written as 10 square. 100 can be written as 10 square. When 10 square goes up, it becomes log 10 power minus 2 to the base 10. When 10 power goes up, it becomes 10 power minus 2. Now, minus 2 comes here. Minus 2 into log 10 to the base 10. We know that log a to the base a is what? 1. Therefore, log 10 to the base 10 is 1. Answer is minus 2. So, for the for this part, the answer is 2. If you observe all these options, in option 1 it is 1, in option 2 it is 0, in option 4 it is 2, in option 3 it is what 2. Therefore, so there is a chance that it will be the answer. Uh, in the beginning, I already said all these options are wrong because its value is 7 by 16. Its value is 7 by 16. It is given at option number 2 but its value is minus 2 it is given in option number 3 if 7 by, answer is 7 by 16 from this 7 by 16 into minus 2 is the answer this is not given in any options this part is given here this part is given in option 3 therefore all options are wrong now how to how to how do you know that its value is 7 by 16. Now I would like to show you now its value. This is log of 9. So this root can be written as 3 root 3 root 3. This root can be written as whole power 1 by 2. Similarly, this root, this root can be written as whole power 1 by 2. Similarly, this root 3 can be written as 3 power 1 by 2 equal to log of this 3 into let us simplify this part first now bases are same power should be added 1 plus 1 by 2 this is 3 by 2 whole power how much is there 1 by 2 whole power 1 by 2 now log this 9 can be written as 3 square later this 2 comes becomes 1 by 2 log 3 so here 3 into this is a power m whole power n a power m whole power n a power mn 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 3 into 1 3 2 into 2 4 whole power 1 by 2 again bases are same 3 3 power should be added therefore 3 power 1 plus 3 by 4 1 plus 3 by 4 is 4 by 4 plus 3 right now 1 plus 3 by 4 4 plus 3 7 7 by 4 whole power 1 by 2 later it becomes Later it becomes again a power m whole power n, a power mn, 7 into 1, 7, 4 into 2, 8, 1 by 2 into log 3, 3 power 7 into 1, 7, 4 into 2, 8, 7 by 8. Now it is in the form of log x power n, 1 by 2 is here log x power n is n log x means 7 by 8 into log 3 to the base 3 which is 1 therefore 1 into 7 7 2 into 8 16 that is 1 so the uh, the value of this is what 7 by 16 it is there but what is the value of log 0.01 to the base 10 
minus 2 it is there they are not given in one answer therefore all answers are not wrong you will get a mark for this problem this is add score m right is if a b into c equal to a into b c is called dash property four options associative inverse identity and none so here we know that ab into c equal to a into bc is associative property therefore for associative property we need three elements whenever you have three elements and it is possible to write ab into c equal to a into b c here ab both are friends c is outside now here it becomes a into bc became friends therefore ab into c equal to a into bc is associative now what is inverse inverse means a into a inverse equal to e so this is called inverse this is called identity elements now exponential form of log 64 to the base 4 equal to 3 is solution we know that if a power x equal to n then x equal to log n to the base a so whatever the base we have for n becomes what the base of x so a power x equal to n implies x equal to this base becomes log base therefore a power x equal to n x equal to log n to the base a similarly if you see there here this a becomes the power of the number similarly 4 goes like this therefore 64 equal to 4 comes here 4 cube answer is 4 cube 4 cube is equal to 64 once again i repeat whatever the base is there for log that becomes the power of the lh similarly this base becomes the base for the number 4 cube